again. How are you? So glad to see my friends today. I want to say hi to Leo and to River. I hope you are having a great day. I want to see, you want to see what book I have today? Let's take a look. Oh, this is one of my favorites. It's called Monster Mama. But don't be afraid. It's not a scary book. The author is Liz Rosenberg, and the illustrator is Stephen Gamel. The author is the person who writes all the words, and the illustrator is the person who creates all the pictures. Let's see what this one's about. Monster Mama. Patrick Edward was a wonderful boy, but his mother was a monster. She lived in a dark cave at the back of the house. Sometimes she painted, and sometimes she gardened, and sometimes she tossed Patrick Edward lightly up and down in the air for fun. He called her Monster Mama. Her bad moods terrified the neighborhood. But still, she had the sweetest touch in the world whenever Patrick Edward ran, ran a fever. I bet your mom takes care of you when you have a fever, too. She taught him how to roar, how to jump and climb, and how to cast a spell that could put almost anyone to sleep. Patrick Edward was fearless like her. She told him, always use your powers for good, never for evil. On rainy days, when she drove him to school, she hid herself in a big cloak and hood. When he invited friends over, she baked cookies for them and then watched secretly from her cave. She never introduced herself to Patrick Edwards' teachers or his piano instructor. They don't need to meet me, she said. So Patrick Edward passed out the cookies himself and learned to make friends on his own. One day, Patrick Edwards' mother told him to pick out something lovely for dessert. Oh, something with strawberries, she called out after him. He decided to try the new market across town. He picked out some lovely strawberry tarts. But out in the parking lot, three big boys circled him. Yum, said the first boy, grabbing the grocery bag. Another boy waved a baseball bat. Patrick Edward was unafraid. Creeps, he sang out, snatching back the bag. The boys ran after him. They chased him down the street and into an empty lot. Villains, farewell, howled Patrick Edward. He jumped over a creek, flew through the woods, and bounded up the side of a small mountain. The three boys caught up after him. We'll show him who's boss, they said. So Patrick Edward chanted the spell that would make them all fall asleep. But... It didn't work. He said the words in the right order and looked them straight in the eye. Those boys could not be charmed. They gobbled up Patrick Edwards' lovely dessert and tied him to a tree with a piece of twine. They threw his cap off the mountain and tossed the paper bag after it. Lizards, Patrick Edwards said scornfully, death to all tyrants. Ah, your mother wears army boots, snarled the biggest boy. What? said Patrick Edward. You heard me, said the boy. The other two smirked. <laughs> oh, oh, don't be scared. This is Patrick Edward when he gets really angry. You ready? Are you ready? You leave my mother out of this! Patrick Edward roared so loudly the whole mountain rang. He broke the baseball bat like a loaf of stale bread and tossed the pieces over his shoulder. Oh. 
Then he chased those boys back down the mountain and through the woods. His eyes glowed and his laughter was truly monstrous. Who knows what might have happened next? But Monster Mama heard the echoes of his roar, and she zoomed out of her cave like a fast-moving freight train and sailed over the creek in one graceful leap. Who's that? shrieked the boys. Let's skip the introductions, Patrick Edwards' mother howled. Pick up that bag. And the three boys scampered after it. Don't forget the hat, she snapped. They found it hanging from a bramble bush. And who broke the baseball bat? Her eyes had little red flames in them. Edward blushed. And I still want something lovely for dessert, she thundered, and she marched the boys back home, where they feverishly sifted and stirred and baked a strawberry tea cake with French whipped cream on top. Mm. At the supper table, Patrick Edward said, Strength is for the wise, not the reckless. More cake, please, he added. The three boys had second helpings, and Monster Mama carried out the dishes. Patrick Edward stacked them. No matter where you go or what you do, she told him, I will be there. Because I am your mother, even if I am a monster. And I love you. As soon as it grew dark, Patrick Edward walked the boys to the gate. Your mother is something else, they told him admiringly. It runs in the family, answered Patrick Edward. The end. I hope you like that one. That's one of my favorites. I'm going to put it back in my bag. And we'll see what book is in there next time. Bye. Have a great day.